Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new tutorials every Thursday and sometimes I can get an extra one in and this is gonna be one of those extra ones. I primarily focus on Tumblr tutorials, but I do some other uh, projects as well. So you can go ahead and check out my channel for different things that I do like pens and coasters and whatever. So I am working on a tutorial right now on this wine bottle tumbler. And I am breaking off real quick to show you. <laughs> Look what happened. Isn't summer lovely? So I love summer, but this is the thing that I don't love about some summer is bugs. And so this guy got into my craft room and settled himself on this tumbler. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to show you when this happens, how to remove this and fix it. So if you're interested to see how to take care of this little bug problem we have here, stick around and I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is remove that wing that's sticking up because uh, that wing didn't make it into the epoxy and it's kind of flapping loose. Make sure you wear a protective mask and some eyeglasses or goggles because we're gonna be using this rotary tool to remove the bug from the tumbler epoxy. So it's gonna create a lot of dust. It works really well and I would recommend it over trying to use a sanding block because the bug is is in there pretty good so after you know i get it out with this you know like i use the rotary tool i clean it with 91 percent alcohol so that you can get an idea of whether or not you've gotten all the bug out because it starts to get hazy when you do this because you're scratching up the epoxy and this uh crane fly had ridiculously long legs so i had to and they're very very super skinny it was like pieces of hair so i'm just going along you go down very very gently don't push very hard you don't need to and uh just clean and keep using that tool until you've gotten all of it just use it on its side but i also like use it on an angle to kind of get like use the very end of it to kind of gouge down a little bit but not too much again i'm using super light pressure and so it's really you know obviously you're not doing it so it's really hard um that's why i'm trying to explain it as best as i can but um you know, just keep wiping and keep getting that off. Now, this bug wasn't too deep. It was in this layer of epoxy. And so I was able to easily get it out without creating a lot of gouges in the epoxy. So it's a little uneven, but epoxy self level. So it's gonna, it's gonna go over this nice and smooth. But uh, I clean it again with some alcohol and I just keep going back and forth. And so once I get done this, I'm going to show you that there is another bug that's um, deeper. It's underneath this layer and I didn't catch it at, before I put this one on. So I'm going to show you one that's kind of like on the surface, which is this one. And then I'm going to show you the next one. So after I get that done, um, so that sanding, that the, the rotary tool sanding um, thing is kind of rough. So I go in with like a 120 grit. I'm not even sure, in a 220, a 120 and a 220 to smooth it out more to take out any bigger gouges because I want it to be smooth and I don't want those gouges to be shown under the epoxy. So it's going to get scuffed up, but that'll help, you know, that'll help smooth it out with the, you know, with the fine grit sandpaper. All right, so I think I finally gotten it all, legs and all, those stupid long legs, holy cow. And it looks pretty good. So I am done with this. So it's out, not a lot of damage. So now I've got two other bugs and one is kind of a surface and another one is pretty deep. So again, I'm gonna come in with my rotary tool and I'm gonna get that little surface guy out. And he was, oh, actually, I, you know what? I don't think that was, was that a surface one? I don't know. I actually had like three or four bugs on this cup, guys. Like, so what happened was, is I left, I forgot to turn my lamp off that I had over it. 
um, when I was recording putting this coat of epoxy on and there just bugs got into my room and they all went and I even had it covered they all went underneath the cover and just got stuck to my epoxy so um so it was just a hot mess because I fixed these spots showing you but then there was one other where there was legs just legs <laughs> and it looked like hair that I had to get out all right so this one I'm gonna dig deeper so I'm gonna go through that first layer and then I've got to get down to the second layer and so I have this other um I actually have two of these rotary tools that's how much I use it so like when one's battery runs out I have another one that's charged up so and I'm going to link uh this in the description box below I don't represent them I don't get paid for it but I just it's a tool that I found on Amazon that I absolutely love uh, so I'm going to use that fine tip to get deeper in there and kind of dig out the little net that was in there. And so that's going to create, um, a little bit of a crater in there, which I'm not confident that a layer of epoxy would fill that in enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in there with this. I'm going to make it a little tiny bit bigger and make sure I've got all of the bug out. So it, it takes a little while to do this because I'm doing it very, very gingerly. I'm only putting light pressure on guys. And even with the other tool, light, light pressure, I can't emphasize that enough because you can easily gouge it and you're just trying to get the bug out. So I go back and forth between these and I get that point in there to just kind of like, I'm like fine tuning and it's so small that you can hardly see it. So I've got like my super magnifying glasses on to get in there. All right, so I think I've got it all. I'm going to clean it with my 91% my alcohol, wipe it down, make sure that I've got all of that bug out there. And so like I said, there's a little crater in now, uh, a little crater in there now. So what I'm going to do to fix that is I am going to, after I double check this and make sure there are no more bugs, and I think I'm good, but after I got done this video, and I went to put it on the turner for epoxy. There was legs. Like I said, there were some other legs. <laughs> I don't know if it was the same bug's legs or what. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to dab a tiny little drop of UV resin in there. And I'm going to fill that crater. And I want to make it as flush as possible. But it can be like, it can be domed just a hair because the epoxy is going to kind of shrink up a little bit once you put your, your light on it. So I do that for a couple of minutes. I get it all nice and cured, and then I take my sanding block, and I just lightly give it a sand to kind of make it flush, and then it's ready to be epoxied. Um, but, of course, like I said, I had to dig out one more thing, but it was pretty much the same as what I've done. So, guys, that's really it. It's pretty easy to get a bug out of your epoxy. Uh, it's just, you know, the right tools, no gouging, using a fine uh, grit sandpaper afterwards, and... Uh, that's it. So I'm going to apply this epoxy and this is the end of this video. So if you want to see the final product or the finished product, because I am doing a tutorial on this, uh, give it about another week or so. And I'm going to be posting the tutorial, the tutorial on how I uh, did this bottle. So that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching. As always, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, comment. I love to hear your feedback. Make sure you check out my Facebook page as well as uh, Glitter Makes It Superstars page. Uh, they have a lot of beautiful or a lot of talented creators and some fun contests every, every Sunday. So, all right, guys, I um, am going to put, oh, I used uh, 30 mLs of epoxy on this too because this is this bottle's a big boy. So 30 mLs of epoxy, and now I'm done. I'm going to torch it, and that's it. So I will see you all in the next video. Thanks. Bye.